You know that your horses are spoiled when you leave the feed store with more pounds of treats than you do grain. Hey, I'm Melissa Deal, and we do positive reinforcement training here. And it's not true. Positive reinforcement does not mean that you're spoiling your horse. It doesn't mean that your horse has to be mouthy. It doesn't mean that your horse is muggy if it's done correctly. So what I did want to talk about real quickly today, people are always asking me, what kind of treats do you use? Well, I love the really expensive, organic, non-GMO, blah, blah, blah kinds of treats. Of course I do. But what it really boils down to is what your horse loves and what fits your budget. So my number one treat is natural. I love carrots. I love the ones that are small and already easy to feed. However, I often buy huge pounds of carrots and chop them up and they're the best summer treat there is. Other treats that are not as moist as this sometimes make the horse get their mouth gummed up and they make the horse very thirsty in the hot summer time. So my number one treat, as I have talked about before, is carrots. And you can get them big and chop them up or you can use them, um, or you can use a small one. It just depends on the volume of what you need. Uh, really, really favorite of everybody here is these knicker makers. And I think they come in a couple different flavors. They're fairly economical and the horses love them. I really like them because they do not make their mouth stick together and they quickly kind of dissolve in the horse's mouth, but yet they're very palatable. Also, these do more treats. These are a little more chalky, but if you need to feed a lot of volume and make the horse feel like he's getting a lot, then the do more treat is a good choice. It is probably um, even more economical than the knicker makers. I haven't used these yet. So one of my students brought these. These are um, all natural apples and nose horse treats, but supposedly her horse absolutely adores them. So what it comes down to with treats is palatability. Which ones does your horse like the most? The ones he likes the most, you would save those for more difficult requests, or I, that's what I do. I use them for more difficult requests. The harder the request, the higher value the treat. The ones that they like a little bit less, I use those for just confirming things, and I use them for a now and then treat whenever we're training. So um, there are many, many options on the market. Certainly if you have a horse that's insulin resistant or obese, you want to be really careful feeding treats and look at the sugar and carb content. But again, summer favorites are, are uh, natural treats such as carrots or cut up apples, but apples tend to be a little stickier in your treat pouch. And my go-to for quick dissolving and not sticking their mouth together is the knicker makers. One more caveat, red treats sometimes will um, cause the horse's mouth to stick together almost like peanut butter and they get very thirsty and they will stop eating treats. So you might just want to be aware of that. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me, Melissa Deal, Victory Land Dressage. Hope this helps.